Okay, so I have decided, I think I like the way that this marker looks better than I like the paint here. So instead of doing the paint with a thin brush on this, because you can see how like, you can see behind on that, and you would have to do two or three layers of that black, letting it dry in between to get a nice solid layer, I think we're just gonna use a marker. Now, if you want to use a pencil first, to do this line, you are totally fine to do that because once you draw on this with marker, there's no way to get it off. So you need to make your own choice on that, but you can watch me as I'm doing this before you make your decision. So what we're gonna do, make sure it's in the frame, there we go. We are going to start at a corner and we're just gonna do a looping line that goes off the page and back on. And you're just gonna try to keep the movement nice and curved and organic because our fruits are organic shapes, right? They're not geometric and boxy like robots or buildings, things like that. So I'm just gonna keep this line kind of flowing throughout my paper. And you wanna go all the way around the sides. Running back up and down. And we're not gonna add anything extra to this background. We just want this line that kind of makes your eye travel around the picture and back up. So you want the viewer to notice the still life, but also just kind of be brought in to the still life with this large loopy line. Okay, well, after you finish that line and you've done your paint pens, which I'm getting all over myself, and they do take some time to dry. So if you need to let that dry before you do your black loopy line, you can definitely do that. And then the very last thing I want you to do is I want you to put your artist signature down here at the bottom right hand corner. And that can be your full name or it can just be your initials. Um, as long as you have your full name on the back, we're good. So I'm just gonna write JM for my initials at the bottom. And then we're done. That's just, it's gonna go on the drying rack because it does have paint pens on it. But if nothing is wet, like this marker, you don't need to put that on the drying rack if it's just the marker that you did today. So, awesome. We went from our painted still life um, and then we painted the background. We did the Posca paint pens. And then the very last thing was this long loopy black line with marker or Sharpie um, instead of the paint. So I think I, I like them both, but I definitely think I like the second one better. And sometimes that's just the way it works is, you know, the more times you do something, uh, the better you get at it. So if today you don't feel successful, we can always work on it and we can do, um, we can do something to improve it. So make sure that you're not throwing your artwork away if you feel like you've made a mistake and let's just try to work around it. All right, thanks guys, let's get going.